Hi, I'm Eric Slack with Evaluator Group. You know, cost is a central factor in product decisions, but when comparing the cost of IT systems, you have to include some measure of capacity. Now, capacity can be simply terabytes of storage or millions of IOPS, but in hyperconverged infrastructures, or HCIs, this concept of capacity is more complex, and it's most accurately determined by the number of VMs that a system can support. In a TCO study conducted by Evaluator Group, we compared the cost of a NetApp HCI cluster with that of two leading hyperconverged systems in 800 and 2500 VM environments. Now to determine the number of nodes required, we had to look at storage and compute performance for each node. For storage performance, we used the IOMark benchmark tool, and for compute performance, we used published results from VMware's VMark testing suite. Most HCIs, including both of these competitors, combine storage and compute resources in each node. This bundled architecture means that you're essentially buying storage and compute nodes in pairs. It also means that the node count required is determined by the lower of these two performance numbers. In this case, 80 VMs per node, even though compute performance is quite a bit higher. For our baseline configuration, of the competitor systems needed 10 nodes. The NetApp HCI, on the other hand, has a disaggregated architecture, meaning storage and compute are not combined, but they're housed in dedicated nodes. Each chassis holds four of these smaller half-rack nodes, which are also less expensive than the 2U combination nodes that the competitor systems use. This means the NetApp HCI can be configured with just the number of nodes required, in this case 10 compute nodes, but only four storage nodes. This reduces the amount of hardware needed, which means less acquisition costs, less support, less overhead, etc. In fact, the NetApp HCI costs 24% less than competitor 1 and over 50% less than competitor 2, again at the 800 VM level. When we expand the cluster to support 2,500 nodes, this differential gets even bigger. At this level, the NetApp HCI is 33% less than competitor 1 and almost 60% less than competitor 2. You can see these results in the report. So why is the NetApp HCI cost lower? Well, it starts with storage performance. The NetApp HCI storage nodes can support almost three times what the other systems can. 230 VMs per node versus 80. This translates into fewer storage nodes required for a given number of VMs, which means lower cost. But the bigger reason is NetApp's disaggregated architecture. By separating storage and compute resources, the NetApp HCI allows you to take advantage of that greater storage performance and only buy the nodes you need. Now, historically, HCIs have traded efficiency for simplicity. By combining storage and compute functions, they make deployment and expansion easier. But combining these resources into the same physical nodes makes sizing and scaling less precise and more expensive. The NetApp HCI architecture lets these two resources be configured independently and scaled independently, allowing clusters to be configured with less waste and without stranding resources. And this results in a lower total cost of ownership. I'm Eric Slack with Evaluator Group. We'll see you next time.